Good Thursday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top news stories, let's take a quick look outside our weather window. And boy, I'll tell you, much, much cooler. Yesterday was a cool one. Today, very cool as well. This is a, a look outside our weather window. You can see a lot of blue sky out there along the uh, Cascades, but it was kind of deceiving too. A lot of cold air came rushing down inside a trough that's now taken residence over the Pacific Northwest, and that means cooler daytime highs and once again record overnight lows and look at these take time highs speaking of that the rest of this week today only about 52 53 degrees as we get into friday saturday sunday a slow warm-up but boy not that much keep in mind our normal high temperature for this time of year is about 65 degrees so well below normal for most of us as we head into this upcoming weekend your complete weather forecast coming up a little bit later on and now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. In a new federal lawsuit, a Wenatchee woman says the Okanagan County Jail held her unlawfully based on her immigration status. Deputy Jennifer Tyler may have been fired from the Chelan County Sheriff's Office, but the deputies union that represented her has filed a grievance on her behalf. And we continue our interview with U.S. Congresswoman Kim Schreier, this time talking health care. But first, we begin tonight. Westbound lanes on Interstate 90 west of the Vantage Bridge were closed for more than five hours on Wednesday after a tanker dumped fuel on the roadway. Trooper John Bryant of the Washington State Patrol says something on the road punctured a line on that tanker, releasing the unleaded gasoline. An emergency shutoff valve then failed, he said. By late afternoon, state crews were able to open one westbound lane, and it remained one lane through the night and into this morning. No fuel got anywhere near the river. Trooper Bryant says during the closure, vehicles could detour around the spill using state highways, but that wasn't good enough for two drivers. Those two disregarded the road closure and attempted to get around that spill. Both were sighted and turned around before reaching the spill site. A Wenatchee woman says the Okanagan County Jail held her unlawfully based on her immigration status. A new federal lawsuit against the county and its sheriff office says the jail in Okanagan detained an undocumented immigrant Maria Del Rio Mendoza Garcia for two days at the request of the U.S. Border Patrol, even though a county judge had already ordered her release. The suit, led by the Northwest Immigration Rights Project and Columbia Legal Services, says such detainer requests do not have any legal force and past court cases have supported their position. The suit says Okanagan County has a broad policy of holding immigrant inmates at Border Patrol request even when they're eligible for release. Well, Deputy Jennifer Tyler may have been fired from the Chelan County Sheriff's Office, but the deputies union that represented her has filed a grievance on her behalf. NCW Life's Jefferson Robbins explains. Last month, the Chelan County Deputy Sheriff's Association went to the Public Employment Relations Commission in Olympia, saying Sheriff Brian Burnett interfered with the union activities when he suspended Deputy Jennifer Tyler for three days without pay in 2018. In an email chain circulated among deputies union members that October, Tyler protested the nomination of a sergeant to become union vice president, saying the candidate had engaged in workplace harassment. The complaint became the basis of one of several internal investigations against Tyler, and Burnett ultimately suspended her. The union says that's an act of discrimination and wants Perk to order the sheriff to make up Tyler's three-day loss of pay plus interest. Burnett fired Tyler on August 30th. She had successfully sued the department in 2018 for retaliation and wrongful dismissal and unsuccessfully ran against Burnett in last November's election for sheriff. She's now suing again in federal court. Jefferson Robbins, NCW Life. Earlier this week, Congresswoman Kim Schreier joined Jefferson Robbins in our NCW Life studios. On yesterday's broadcast, she discussed the impeachment inquiry against President Trump. Tonight's topic is American health care. Medicare for all is something that has drawn a lot of attention for presidential candidates in the Democratic Party are gaining a lot of traction by espousing this uh, policy, and more than half of Americans do favor it. How would you see health care evolving or changing in the future? So I have always uh, set out with a goal of having affordable and accessible care to everybody in this country. And that remains my goal. So the real question is, how do you get there? And, and I share that goal with every one of those presidential candidates. I just happen to think 
that there's a path from A to B that does not involve exploding the system that we have. I think that we can take the Affordable Care Act, which protects people with pre-existing conditions, and then we can increase subsidies to make it more affordable, because right now it's the people who are buying insurance and who are middle class people who are getting squeezed and paying really high premiums. So if we can extend subsidies to them, if we can work and target the cost of prescription drugs, and if we can have a public option so that insurance companies don't hold all the cards, right? So you could have, like here, where you only have one insurance provider, you could then have some competition from a, a public option that would bring down costs and provide an affordable option for families or for small businesses to buy into. I, I worry about polling for Medicare for All because I think a lot of people don't it sounds good, right? It sounds like a three-word simple answer to a problem. But um, the people in the 8th District, and I've done, you said, 19 town halls going up on, coming up on 20, the people in this district are not ready to give up their own employer-based health insurance. Uh, it took five years for people to even get used to the idea of the Affordable Care Act. And so to take that away and just force everybody onto a system that may or may not be better, I think would be uh, a mistake. So you see uh, the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, as being a workable framework, a good foundation to build on. I think it's a phenomenal framework. It got 26 million people coverage who couldn't get covered before. People like me, I have, a, I have type 1 diabetes, my own pre-existing condition. I have yet to meet a family that doesn't have somebody with something. And so I think we all feel that anxiety. Gosh, if something happened to me, would I be able to afford insurance? That solved one of those problems. It also made it so that an insurance company actually has to provide insurance, right? That 85% of their um, uh, revenue has to be spent on providing health care. Well, that's fantastic. And it has to provide some essential benefits, like seeing your regular doctor and getting screenings. It was like the Wild West before we had the Affordable Care Act, and there were plenty of policies out there that really cost very little, but also covered very little. Coming up next, the wait is almost over. After two decades of research and development, the Cosmic Crisp Apple variety hits the store shelves in December. Orchard burning and prescribed fires contributed to poor air quality in the Wenatchee Valley on Wednesday, and a state access site at Roses Lake near Manson will be closed most of next week. I'm Grant Olson, and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. in Wenatchee has Motor Trend's SUV of the Year and Truck of the Year. That's right, Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram has the all-new Jeep Wrangler and the all-new Ram 1500 pickup. Or get the best of both worlds in the new Jeep Gladiator. Visit Town Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram today for more information on these award winners and see why there's no reason to leave town to buy your next vehicle. Travel enhances your life in every way. Let the travel professionals at Journey Travel and Tours help you plan that dream vacation. Don't leave the important details to those nameless, faceless online agencies. At Journey Travel and Tours, our goal is to build relationships that last a lifetime. And when you do need help, we have a 24-hour helpline that is routed to one of the agents in our office. When you think travel, think Journey Travel and Tours. It's where your journey begins. Like us on Facebook, and you could be one of our monthly winners. With 15,000 square feet to explore, you'll find something special at the Antique Mall at Cashmere. For the do-it-yourselfers and those with a keen eye for making something old, fresh and new again, the Antique Mall at Cashmere is the place to come find your next project. From the coin enthusiasts to avid collectors, Antique Mall at Cashmere has treasures in every corner. Come find your treasure today. Antique Mall at Cashmere's friendly staff is here to help. Stop on by today. Welcome back. And in other news, this year's apple harvest in Washington State could be a game changer for the industry. The wait is almost over after two de decades of research and development. The Cosmic Crisp Apple variety hits the store shelves in December. NCW Life Steve Hare has a preview. 
had a chance to tour one of Stemilt Grower's orchards this week just prior to the harvest of the first crop of Cosmic Crisp Apples. Now, the new variety was created in 1997 by Washington State University tree fruit researchers here in Wenatchee. It was made by crossbreeding the Honey Crisp for its texture and juiciness and the Enterprise for its late ripening and longer shelf life. Washington State Apple Industry President Todd Fryover says it makes for a perfect blend of flavor and texture. The thing that I do with an apple like this is when I take a bite, if I find myself sucking the juice out of that piece of fruit that's in my mouth, that is a wonderful apple. And Cosmic Crisp definitely fulfills that. And one other major attribute to this variety is that it does not brown. The Cosmic Crisp will add to an already abundant assortment of apple varieties and cultivars here in Washington State. Fryover said this year's harvest could be close to a record in terms of volume. The October 1st estimate came out and we were slightly over estimate on Golden's Honey Crisp and Gala. So I think we're going to have a very strong volume somewhere in that 135 to 140 million box number. It's not a record but it's very close. Fryover added it was a good year in terms of fruit quality too and that's due to excellent weather conditions during the growing season. Steve Hare, NCW Life News. Orchard burning and prescribed fires contributed to poor air quality in the Wenatchee Valley on Wednesday and for a time today the air in the Wenatchee and Leavenworth area was, was rated unhealthy for sensitive groups. The Chelan Douglas Health District says those conditions are likely to persist for a few days. The district rep recommends that sensitive populations like children and adults over 65 limit the amount of time they spend outdoors. Well, a state access site at Roses Lake near Manson will be closed most of next week. The Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife will be working on improvements to the site, including repaving, installing a new toilet, and cutting a trail to provide more shoreline fishing opportunities. The work is expected to last from October 14th to the 18th. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Stay with us. Being able to support yourself and your family is an important part of who we are. We all need to know we're able to provide ourselves with a secure future. Some job seekers have a harder time finding work. That's why Goodwill's Employment Connection Center is here, a free walk-in job search assistance program designed to help people find work. When you shop at or donate to Goodwill, you're really being a job creator, and that's a good thing for everyone's future. Goodwill, there's more behind the store. Bring the whole family up to Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house in historic downtown Chelan. Applewood smoked brisket, street style tacos, and our award winning barbecue rubs and sauces. Our meals pair perfectly with our exciting lineup of craft ales made right here in Chelan. We've got room for big groups or give us a call for catering. So grab the kids and check out the fun at Stormy Mountain Brewing and local public house located in the heart of Chelan. Arctic Refrigeration and Heating, serving North Central Washington, is proud to offer the finest heating and cooling air quality products, along with prompt and professional customer service since 1984. Regardless of the temperature outside, Arctic is here for you. Arctic offers a variety of services, residential and commercial heating, air conditioning, commercial refrigeration, as well as planned fall and spring maintenance for the overall well-being of your system. Call Arctic Refrigeration and Heating for your heating and cooling needs. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. Time now for our weekly Kennel Cameos feature from the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. Tonight, NCW Life's Megan McPherson introduces us to Precious the Cat. Hey guys, Megan here with the NCW Life Channel. We're here with Leticia, the clinic program coordinator of the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. And this week we are Looking at Precious. Can you tell us about Precious? Sure. Um, Precious is a four-year-old little girl. Um, her owners did unfortunately pass away. She's left here. Um, she is declawed and she loves being in a room with other cats. Um, she's really shy. So if she did have another cat, probably best just 
to get her out of her shell a little bit. Like I said, she is declassed, so she does need to be indoors only. Um, I, when they're declassed, they don't do good outdoors. So if you're looking for a cat that you want in your house that won't ruin your furniture, um, she's your girl. She would prefer a home that's pretty quiet, um, like I said, because she is shy. Uh, a quiet home would be best for her. Right now, she's a little nervous because all of the scary noises that are around her. Um, but she does come around. <laughs> she's really sweet. <laughs> yeah. And if someone's interested in adopting her, what should they do? If someone's interested in adopting her, they can come down, they could meet her. Her adoption fee is $65 um, and just paperwork. That's all you need to do to, to have her in your home. The Wenatchee Valley Humane Society is located at 1474 South Wenatchee Avenue and is open Monday through Friday from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Give them a call at 509-662-9577 or visit their website at wenatchehumane.org. This has been Kendall Cameos at the Wenatchee Valley Humane Society. And Megan wanted me to mention that Precious got to the Humane Sh uh, Society shelter because her owner recently passed away. So, so go adopt Precious, please. Time now for a look at your North Central Washington weather forecast. And before we get to those details, look at this beautiful look outside our weather window and what a day today. But as I mentioned at the top of the newscast, sometimes looks can be deceiving. It looked like it was just a beautiful warm day out there, but nah, not so warm out. Temperatures much below normal. 65 is where we should be. 53 today unofficially. That's after only 50 degrees yesterday, so we have seen a couple of very cool days. And yeah, we did set a record low temperature overnight, 27. The Weather Service was right on the money with that 27 degree temperature uh, forecast. 43 is our normal low. 80 degrees. Doesn't that sound good right now? That was set in 1988. Our record high, record low, 30 degrees in 2009. As I mentioned, that's not a record anymore. That's our new one at 27 degrees. 5.93 inches of moisture. That's still where we sit for precipitation for the year. Sunrise this morning, 712, and the sun sets tonight at 623. Let's take a look and a peek at how our Friday weather shapes up around north central Washington. Still not that warm. Unfortunately, although we will see a slow warming trend beginning tomorrow, still well below where we should be. 58 for Moses Lake, 57 in Afreda here in Wenatchee, 55 degrees, 53 for you folks in the upper valley for Leavenworth, 54 in Chelan and 55, the high temperature for Friday up in Omax. So keep in mind that'll still be about 10 degrees below where we should be for this time of year. Surface loop time now. Tonight we'll see mostly clear skies. Once again, near record lows. Our record low temperature tonight I think is around 29 or 30 degrees once again, and we are going to be very close to that. Remember, all the blue areas are 30 degree temperatures and even below zero temperatures back into Montana. Keep in mind that'll keep us uh, a slow warm up process for us on Friday. It will be slightly warmer with clear skies. Remember, the dark greens and the yellows indicate upper 50s to 60 degree temperatures. 30 still back into Montana. Saturday, partly cloudy skies. We will see calm winds. Really a nice day Saturday, other than the fact that we will be below normal once again, but we will see that slight warm up and that'll continue into the end of the weekend as well on Sunday with mostly sunny skies and mild temperatures. A few clouds will scatter across uh, Washington state, but temperature wise, yeah, we'll be about 60 and that will uh, translate into a nice Monday as well with sunny mild changes on the way. Look at that monster right there in the Gulf of Alaska. It's moving down towards us folks and you can see the frontal line right here, which will move into Washington state by Tuesday and that'll bring us about a 20% chance of shower activity here in north central Washington. Not much chance Tuesday, but that goes up on Wednesday. We will see mostly cloudy skies into our midweek next week with a 30% chance of rain showers because this area of low pressure gets some help. Reinforcement coming down from the north and the combination of those two will come in and really bring us a chance for wet weather past Wednesday. We're talking Thursday, Friday, and our next weekend. So enjoy the next couple of days. Let's take a look now at your quick lube and tune seven day forecast tonight. 31 our predicted low temperature that itself won't be a record low, but we're going to be awful close to
to that once again tonight. 55 your high Friday. 58 then as we get into Saturday, partly cloudy skies, 40s for low temperatures. That will be a nice change. 60 then, a high temperature on Sunday as well as Monday, and that's just a little bit below where we should be for this time of year. And then those weather changes come in. 57 on Tuesday, 60 with rain showers on Wednesday. And that's a look at your local weather forecast. Coming up next, tonight's sports report with Eric Grandstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. So Pam, how's your mom doing? She's okay. She's struggling. She'd like to stay in her house and it's getting harder for her to do the daily chores. What kinds of problems is she having? Just basic house cleaning, you know, uh, taking care of her house, yard work, taking care of her medicine. Mm -hmm. It does sound exhausting. It is very exhausting and I always worry about her. Aging and adult care can assist you or your loved one to remain comfortably and safely in their own home. Contact them today to start the conversation. When you're ready to purchase your next vehicle, make sure you stop by Sangster Motors. They're your locally owned and operated Buick and GMC dealer offering four acres of new and quality used inventory. Their philosophy is simple. They offer you the best product at a competitive price, all with impeccable service. Stop in today, have some popcorn or coffee at Gear Up Java, let the kids play and talk with one of the Sangsters about your next vehicle. You'll find them on the corner of 9th and Miller and Wenatchee or online at sangstermotors.com. Caring about your family is what brings you back to theirs. Some jobs take more than skill. They require something deeper, an innate devotion to the communities in which we live. At Giza Credit Union, we help you support law enforcement, firefighters, teachers, and veterans. With every purchase you make with a Giza Local Heroes Affinity Debit Card, we make a donation to select organizations. After all, we can never repay them, but we can do our best to help a little. With the Giza Local Heroes Affinity Debit Card, and now it's a sports update on the NCW Life Channel. And a happy Thursday to you. Probably not happy if you're a Dodger fan. Got to be crushed today. Can't believe what you saw last night. Washington hit two homers in the eighth to tie it. Then Howie Kendrick, a former Dodger, uh, hit a grand slam home run at the top of the 10th to win the National League Division Series 7-3. Los Angeles had built an early 3-0 lead on Max Muncy's two-run home run in the first. Enrique Hernandez's solo shot in the second. Walker Bueller cruised through six and two-thirds, allowing one run on four hits, seven strikeouts. But then came the top of the eighth, being an elimination game with the season on the line. Dodger manager Dave Roberts brought Clayton Kershaw out of the bullpen, got the final out in the seventh before giving up back-to-back -back home runs to Anthony Rendon and Juan Soto in the eighth. The lead was gone, and so too was Kershaw. Nationals loaded the bases in the tenth on a leadoff walk by Adam Eaton, a ground rule double by Anthony Rendon, and an intentional walk to Juan Soto. Kendrick's grand slam came off of Joe Kelly's first pitch. Fans began leaving Dodger Stadium before final out could even be recorded in the top of the 10th, let alone L.A. still had one more at bat in the bottom of the inning. Washington will travel to St. Louis for game one of the National League Championship Series tomorrow, 5.08 in the afternoon on TBS. Now, the Cardinals left no doubt they'd win Wednesday by scoring a record 10 runs in the first inning to beat Atlanta 13-1. to 14 men came to the plate for St. Louis in an inning no one had ever seen in Major League postseason history. The Cards had five players with two RBIs. The St. Louis advanced to its 14th NLCS. Final division series will be settled today in Game 5 of the American League. A matchup between Tampa Bay and Houston. Rays will start Tyler Grasno, and the Astros will counter with Garrett Cole. That game underway at Minute Maid Park. We have one more score to pass along from yesterday in prep girls soccer. Cascade pounded Pateras 10-0 as the game was moved up from today to yesterday. On the schedule for today, Omax hosting Chelan. Cashmere is in Okanagan. Also, Quincy plays host Grandview. Manson plays at Lake Roosevelt. And East Valley is at Ephrata. A crowded prep volleyball schedule begins uh, about right now, as a matter of fact, in Antioch, where the Tigers host Riverside Christian. Three games start at 6.30 as, as Waterville Mansfield travels to Tenasket. Manson hosts Bridgeport, and Cashmere is up at Okanagan. At 7, it's Ufreda and Wapato. Wenatchee's in Sunnyside. Eastmont hosting the defending state champion West Valley Rams. Eastmont swim team on the road today to battle West Valley and Sunnyside. Also at Lions Pool earlier today. Moses Lake going up against Davis and Eisenhower. A couple of cross-country meets earlier today. 
the CWAC as well. East Valley hosting Efreda and Toppenish and Wapato. Also Quincy uh, with Prosser at Sela. Big Nine football resumes tomorrow night under the lights. Eastmont will celebrate homecoming against the Davis Pirates. We'll have the game live on the NCW Life Channel with yours truly and Grant Olson at 7 o'clock. Now, I had a chance to speak with Coach Michael Don yesterday about homecoming week and the challenge it can be to focus players on the game. Maybe that game before homecoming was the best thing for us. Uh, it's always good to get a kick in the pants the week before homecoming because this is always a hard week to get high school kids to focus. They're worried about dates and cars and dinners and dances and all kinds of other stuff, volleyball games and whatever else they can come up with to do. But uh, they've been pretty focused up and they're ready to get back after it and play good football. For junior defensive lineman Max Prazer, he says homecoming week is great, but you got to win on Friday night. I mean, it's all fun. You know, we have dress up days every day. And tonight we got uh, homecoming volleyball. We make up teams and play each other, see if you can win. It's all fun. So Friday night, what pr pressure do you have, if any, because it's homecoming to, you know, I mean, you got a big crowd there. Yeah. You got, of course, king and queen being announced and all that kind of fun stuff. But also you want to win that game, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean, we got the dance the next day. Dance isn't going to be as fun if we lose, you know, so. <laughs> Eastmont's undefeated 5-0 on the season, ranked in the top 10 of 4A teams across the state. Don says, narrowly defeating West Valley in double overtime last week, a good reminder to his club. We just got to be more consistent and uh, have a better week of practice. I thought last week we didn't have a very good week of practice, and it showed. And, uh, you know, this week our kids have been a lot more focused, and um, they now understand we're not, you know, impenetrable we can't just walk through everybody and uh, that could be the tough part when you roll through the non-leagues but uh, it was it was a good opener for us in league and um, it showed us a lot of what we got to work on and things teams can do to us and uh, this week we're hoping to get back on track and play better our pregame tomorrow night begins at 6.45 at Wildcat Stadium in East Wenatchee. The Wenatchee Panthers will hit the road for a second week in a row to take on the West Valley Rams. Coach Scott Devereaux says he thinks they saw some things in some film that might be able to take advantage of. Yeah, Vanderbreak's a, a really good football player, excellent wide receiver, makes big plays, catch the ball short, make guys miss. Um, our plan is not to give the quarterback very much time and uh, put some pressure on him. So the first game of the season, or second game of the season, they played Kamiakin. Kamiakin is a blitz-heavy team. We saw some things from that game we really liked. Um, also, Sunnyside blitzed them quite a bit and were successful. And I think up front, we're a little stronger than Sunnyside. So we're going to give them some of what they don't like. And we're going to be bouncing around and bring guys from different angles and playing some man coverage and getting after it. Of course, the week-to-week -week goal for Wenatchee is to win. But more so, says senior offensive tackle Nate Black, is to beat Eastmont. They're going to be a pretty tough team. Uh, but our goals for the game are probably going to be uh, to beat them by a larger gap than uh, Eastmont did and kind of rub it into Eastmont's face and uh, show that, uh, that our, what we got. There's uh, a lot of attention being focused on that side of the river. What does that make you guys feel? Uh, we're pretty excited to beat them uh, because uh, the last, two years ago, they beat us by two. One year ago, they beat us by one. And this year, we're gonna beat them. Panthers and Rams kick off at West Valley Stadium tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Moses Lake will try to get their first win of the season against Eisenhower. That's at Zephyl Stadium also at 7. We'll give you the whole rundown of everything and give you more of a preview coming up tomorrow here on the NCW Life Channel. That's sports news. Grant, back to you. Thank you, Eric. You're still in mourning about that Dodger game. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great night. CW Live Channel is your home for local news, local weather, and events including live local high school sports. Watch inspiring local shows featuring local people. Don't miss Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Let's learn.
Guada TV, Street Talk and Other Stuff, The 12th District, Life with Lisa, and the Arbiter of Stoke. NCW Life Channel is your local TV station. I am Dan Coots. This is Wake Up Financial Valley. We got news, we got sports, we got weather, we got obscure holiday today in history and birthdays. Those actresses from the 70s that I had a huge crush on Lindsay Wagner, Jane Russell, Meryl Streep, Barbara Bush. Wanted to wish her a happy birthday. It gave me an excuse to throw her picture up on my.